That takes us next to the big brother of this pack, which is the actual Mission Pack soft medical version. MPMD is our designator. Again, it will come with a pull-out uh, uh, team bag called the Mission Go bag. The backpack, starting from the load carriage uh, aspect, removable uh, shoulder straps. These shoulder straps anchor the same way um, the old Alice Ruck did through a ring with a loop um, at the base of the uh, ruck. There's a, uh, take note that there's a metal loop here, metal uh, tabler buckle here, and metal slider buckle here. So uh, this pack is secured with all metal uh, fixtures. The plastic pieces are not in any of the weight bearing areas. The reason we went with metal, if you're going to hang this on the outside of a GMV or a Humvee, and you're bouncing across the desert. When you get out of your truck, you want to make sure that your uh, backpack didn't get, uh, didn't snap and fall off the side. The uh, uh, sternum strap is removable. To ring attachment points, you can route your uh, um, Camelback or hydration harness uh, or hydration reservoir through these loops and through this metal ring. Notice there. Two uh, one-inch Fastex buckles. These one-inch Fastex buckles are quick disconnects. If you need to ditch your ruck in a hurry, you drop but an eight-inch drop and fall out of the ruck. Also, if those plastic buckles break, the extension still maintains its metal, metal, metal attachment points. So even if this plastic does break in the field, you can continue to use the shoulder strap. Additionally, this shoulder strap system is the same system that we use on the uh, MORP bag, uh, which I'll demonstrate later, um, and all of uh, Sotec's uh, backpacks. So if you're in the field and you do have a failure of uh, one of your shoulder straps, you can simply take a shoulder strap off of another uh, piece of equipment. At the top of the pack, you have a padded reinforced handle. <clears throat> you also have an extra large uh, antenna hole or water back or water reservoir hose hole velcro covered and on both sides the reason for two handles here if you're in an, uh, a firefight situation while you're conducting uh, uh, your medical operations on your patient you can grab the handle pull them together and run with this um, instead of having to take the time to zip the whole pack up. There are compression straps at the top um, and bottom both sides, four compression straps. There's a top pocket, <coughs> Velcro identifier. Inside there are three pockets for M4 magazines uh, for carrying extra ammunition. On the lower pocket there is a molly set um, for attaching small pouches. Again, the more pouches you add on, the uh, higher your profile is. So we recommend uh, shingles or small pouches. Again, inside this large pocket down here, it is sized so you could drop a helmet in there, but it's uh, pr uh, preferred that you uh, drop the mission go bag into this large pocket here. The bottom of this pack has a uh, unique feature where we put a drop down compartment. Now, when you're traveling, uh, uh, we'll say traveling light, you can carry the backpack in this configuration with your medical equipment and panels on the inside, your go bag here, personal gear here. But if you need to carry additional equipment, um, cold weather gear, extra MREs, you, uh, you undo these two straps. Now these two straps also uh, function as um, uh, lash points and there are molly um, strips down here to, to lash um, additional items to. But with this feature, you have a drop down access through this pocket here and you have a drop down adding about another third to the carry capacity of this piece of equipment. Now you can take these straps and lengthen these straps to 
run them back up to the Fastex buckle to cinch your load and tighten the load down. <clears throat> Reason we did this, we had troops coming to us saying with a rucksack um, and the uh, three day assault pack that they're issued, standard infantrymen would only have to contend with a backpack and then an assault pack. Uh, the medic, the sniper, and the uh, breacher would have separate three-day packs for their medical gear. So when their platoon sergeant said, drop your rock and go to your three-day pack, now your medic had a medic pack and an assault pack with a survival gear in it. This pack combines your uh, survival gear in these pockets and in an extra pocket in here and puts your medical or mission gear in this pocket and also in the main compartment here.